Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. Look, 2020 has proven to be the year of many things, and the same for 2022. But if you're a small business, this could also be the year you switch to a better payroll. Gusto wasn't just built for small businesses, it was built for the people behind them. Their online payroll is easy to use. Gusto can automatically calculate paychecks and file all your payroll taxes, which means you have more time to run your business. Plus, Gusto does way more than payroll. Gusto helps with time tracking, health insurance, 401ks, onboarding, commuter benefits, offer letters, access to HR experts. You get the idea. It's super easy to set up and get started. If you're moving from another provider, they can transfer all your data for you. It's no surprise that 94% of customers are likely to recommend Gusto. And here's the best part. Because you're a listener to this podcast, you get three months totally free. All you have to do is go to gusto.com backslash compliance. That's gusto.com backslash compliance. I'm telling you, you're going to love Gusto. Get started today. The Daily Compliance News for October 7, 2021, the Keep Your Hands to Yourself edition. And we begin with that story of Urban Meyer, who um, was caught on video with his hands up and down a young woman who was dancing next to him at his restaurant last weekend. Uh, This can only be said to be one of the latest stupid things that Urban Meyer has done, and it really speaks to uh, Meyer's uh, lack of values and his inability to uh, see uh, things he uh, has done are really uh, inappropriate. He was publicly chastised by the owner of the uh, Jacksonville Jaguar franchise, and one can only say that the death watch for Urban Meyer's college career is on, particularly since he's 0-4. Next up, from the Wall Street Journal, Risk and Compliance Journal, Dylan Tokar reporting, Petrobras has concluded its bribery settlement with the Department of Justice. Uh, The settlement included a non-prosecution agreement where Petrobras uh, agreed to strengthen its compliance program, and it reported on Monday that it complied by the terms of the agreement improving its integrity program and self-reporting to the DOJ during the DPA's three-year term. Next, two stories from the Wall Street Journal deal book. Uh, The first is President Biden's choice for uh, the head of the Department of Justice Antitrust Division, Jonathan Kantner, uh, is uh, going in front of the Senate Judiciary Committee today. He has been pushed by progressives to remake antitrust law, And if approved for the post, some say he could be the toughest antitrust enforcer since Joel Klein, who took on uh, Microsoft. That uh, Cantor comes from big law, but he has been known for having a progressive bent. So it's going to be interesting to see what the temper tantrum, so the GOP throws on this, particularly given the Facebook uh, imbroglio, which broke uh, Sunday night on 60 Minutes with the whistleblower report or whistleblower, interview of the whistleblower, rather, uh, her testimony before Congress and, of course, the Wall Street Journal reporting on this. And our final story also comes from DealBook, and it's about uh, Fed Chair Jerome Powell. Although he's been praised by the way he's used the central bank's powers to steer the economy through the pandemic, uh, one can only uh, say the ethical lapses at the Fed have uh, really tarnished his chances for a second term as a Fed chair. Uh, We've had uh, insider trading scandals and revelations that top Fed officials traded in their personal accounts when the central bank policy moves uh, could and indeed did benefit their portfolios. Uh, He seems to have a blind spot on banking regulations 
And this has been growing uh, since this summer when a nonprofit skeptical of big banks uh, released a report critical of Powell's oversight in, in this regulatory arena. So uh, although I think Powell has gotten good marks for his handling of the economy, these ethical lapses uh, at the Fed literally across uh, the nation as several Fed uh, banks have gotten into uh, uh, ethical trouble for the actions of their directors uh, could uh, doom his shot at a second term. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow. This podcast is a part of the C-Suite Radio Network. For more top business podcasts, visit c-suiteradio.com.